Welcome to InfoGamer. Today I was working on my own game and needed to create a death zone, so I wanted to show you guys how quick and easy it is to create a death zone. Anybody can do it. And so let's get started. Let's show you why it's important first. Let's go to Hierarchy, right click, Create 3D Objects, and Sphere. Let's drag this up and add a rigid body. Hit Add Component in the Inspector when you have the sphere selected. And this will add a rigid body to this game object. Ooh, not a 2D. I want a rigid body. There we go. When we hit play in the scene, the game object's going to continue to fall and continue to be tracked. And so when you have a bunch of bullets in your game or a bunch of characters leaving the scene that don't matter anymore, their position's going to continue to be tracked unless you have a death zone. So it's going to slow down your game unless you're deleting these game objects that are leaving the scene. So let's get to creating our death zone. Right click in the hierarchy again after you unplay the video. You want to make sure that this is black and white. And let's go to create empty. Let's rename this death zone. Let's add a box collider. So you click add component in the inspector, click box collider. And then let's add another component, which will be the script that we use to delete the game objects. New script, then let's name this death zone. Create and add. Okay, we want to change some things to our box collider. We want to make it a trigger so that when another collider comes in contact with it, it sends a trigger. And then we want to change the size in the X to 60 and in the Z to 60. And this will make the area bigger for the game objects to be cut by them as they leave. Okay, let's open our death zone script. Let's delete the code that is inside the, these curly brackets. And let's start typing in what we need. This first line type void on trigger enter parentheses and then brackets. Okay, you're going to want to make sure this is typed in exactly how mine is. You want the capitals in the right place. You want everything to be correct. Then in the parentheses, we're going to want to register a collider and, and from another game object. And so when we type collider other, it's going to register a collider on another game object coming in contact with this death zone. When it does that, we want it to destroy that game object, so we'll type destroy, parentheses, and semicolon, and in the parentheses, we're going to say other dot game object. And that is all the code you need to create an effective death zone. Hit control S and save your code, and we'll go back and test it in Unity. Oh, we should probably select it. So as soon as the game object hit the death zone, it got deleted from the game, and it's working correctly. You guys can continue to mess around with this. I hope this was helpful. In future videos, we're going to show you guys how to turn a death zone into an actual portal that will transport our character to another place on the map. We also want to show a death zone triggering a game over scene. You can make a death zone into an end of level scene as well. And we want to show you guys all how to do that in future videos. 